Hi, I'm Doug Krebel. If you specify buy or use pumps, you must be able to read a pump curve because what you're getting is the pump's performance. Pump curves come in two general configurations. One is called a price book curve, which is a general curve used to select pumps from a manufacturer's set of performance curves. The other is called a proposal curve, which is a computer generated curve for a specific set of conditions. Let's look at a price book curve first. The flow rates in GPM or cubic meters per hour are on the y-axis or the bottom. The pump head in feet or meters are on the y-axis or the vertical axis. The dark curves are specific impeller diameters. For this pump model, the available impeller diameters vary from a minimum of 8 inches to a maximum of 10 inches. The impeller will be cut by the manufacturer to whatever diameter is needed to meet your conditions of service. Impellers are sometimes referred to as wheels due to their shape. You always read a pump curve from the selected or installed impeller diameter to read the corresponding flow and head. In this case, for a 10 inch impeller at 90 foot, the flow would be 1050 GPM. If the impeller selection is 9 inches at a flow of 950 GPM, the head is 65 feet. If you were selecting a pump of this size, your process conditions were 800 gallon per minute at 90 foot, the impeller diameter would be somewhere between 9.5 and 10 inches, about 9.6 inches. But the manufacturer would determine the proper impeller diameter for your conditions and cut it to the correct diameter. Once an impeller diameter is selected, the pump will operate anywhere on that curve that the system allows. The curve also shows at any given point of flow and head the NPSH required by the pump and the horsepower for pumping a liquid with a specific gravity of 1.0, basically water at normal temperature. It also shows the efficiency from which you can calculate the brake horsepower. For a flow of 800 GPM, 60 foot of head, it falls on the 8.5 inch in power. The NPSHR is between 8 and 9 feet, say 8.1 feet, and the point lies right at 15 horsepower. The efficiency is 82.5%. Using the formula for brake horsepower, you can see we got 14.7 brake horsepower, close to the 15 we read above. If the same pump with the 8.5 inch in power is throttled back to a flow of 400 GPM, the head would be 70 foot. The NPSHR less than 6 foot and an efficiency of 60%. And you can calculate the brake horsepower as 11.8. Usually the title block will show model, size, speed, and other pertinent details. In this case, the empower part number, pattern number, eye area, and the maximum size of a sphere which will pass through the impeller. The second type of curve is a proposal curve, generated by a manufacturer's software. This is similar and it shows the same information, just a different format. The design flow and head are 250 GPM at 175 foot. The NPSHR is shown as a curve on a lower plot and you enter at a flow and connect with the NPSHR curve and read the NPSHR from the y-axis, for instance at 300 GPM, the NPSHR is 15 foot. Efficiency is read similarly. Enter at a flow, intersect with the efficiency curve, and read the efficiency from the y-axis. The horsepower for specific gravity 1.0 is also determined from a flow intersecting with the horsepower curve and reading the BHP from the y-axis. For example, at 400 GPM, the brake horsepower is 21. We know this information will help you read pump curves, but if you need help, we're here for you.